in order to create a spare part then uh, because spare part is inventory item so we will need to define it in the item master application so we can have an item code for each of our spare part so that's what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna open the item master application and I'm gonna create a new row and this one I'm gonna call it an OMZ yeah. yeah probably I need to define a different items yes so I'm gonna call it And now I will need to activate it. So I'm going to choose new starter to activate and to run new starter to organization and inventory. So this is because with this uh, item master, we have the status, but we need to assign it to different organization as well. So if we forgot to do it, then we can go in here, go to item and organization details. And then we can uh, activate the item for the organization that we need to use it with. But in this case, uh, I'm, I have done it when I'm changing the status of the item, so that's fine. Now I'm going ahead and uh, add two more items for these uh, two items. Okay, so we got our item in the item master list. So now we can go back to our asset application to associate this item as spare part to our original chuck that we created. So let's go back to our asset and call it and search for the chuck that we have created. Okay. And now we go to the spare part and then we going to add our items so we gonna add the, the I, 1005 1006 and 1007 okay. we need to do them separately hmm. don't know why it doesn't display here let me quickly do that again Okay, so uh, we have defined our three items and associate them with this uh, chuck. So basically, in this case, we don't have the item here in a chuck, but for a wiper, we have two of them installed on the uh, windscreen, so uh, we can enter the quantity here just for uh, reference uh, only. This is just information, it doesn't affect anything. Right, so for wheel, probably we have one spare wheel in the uh, chunk of the chuck, so we can leave it one here. So basically, we can see that we have four wheels installed as a component and one item defined as a spare part. So these are two different things. 
But later on, we can use the concept, the rotating item concept to associate those uh, together. But that is an advanced concept. I'm going to talk about them later.